We are at episode 15 of the New York City Wrestling Series, and uh, we are just with our champion, Mass Stranger, and he is taking over the company in a sense of just killing it. Um, we have the LA Stars as our tag champs, and then we have uh, Fuyoka Higa as our women's champion, our inaugural wo women's champion. Uh, the most prestigious title. I gotta actually change the picture still. And then uh, Mr. Lucha 3 is the caught champion and has been for our almost a year now. Um, in regards to this show, let's just get started and get to it. The uh, debut of our Blacklist signee, Original Center, will be on this show. Hopefully it works out well. So we start off with Riley McManus defeating um, Lovestruck Andrew Harper. And um, yeah, we're playing up to that Andrew Harper having a crush on Olivia. Um, what the hell? What's her last name? Uh, we'll see in a second. Olivia's uh, last, not last name, Olivia. And it's kind of taking away his mean streak. Following that, we had whew, an all time great match with Original Center defeating Bob Casey. And on Original Center, lose. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Losses do not damage popularity as much, and a small penalty to charisma. Okay, um, ruled bad chem, so I signed Bob Casey to, like, train Original Center, and I was going to have him, like, just, you know, wrestle in the pre-show or something like that to build up Original Center, fill out the roster, stop doing the uh, loan thing, and then go from there. But mm, we'll have to see what happens. We then had Tennessee William defeating Freedom Eagle. Um, whatever this mini feud has been, uh, is over after this. Tennessee won defeat Freedom Eagle. Following that, we had the boys from UConn, and they had Duke Hazard with them. Duke Hazard is, um, a manager who is the sheriff. Um, he's actually going to be a, um, union representative kind of deal, playing up with the boys from UConn. I think it fits. And we'll see how he does. In the company now, him and Hal and Matt Mort do not have the best chemistry, so we'll see how we can move up with that. Following that, we had Conception Gomez and Olivia Diamond, er, there's her last name, versus Foyoka Higa and Miss Tennessee, or Miss Tennessee and Foyoka Higa defeat Olivia Diamond and Conception Gomez by uh, what's called Foyoka pinning Olivia. Now, post match, we had a Tennessee William confront Olivia, maybe he's going to hit her, maybe he's going to do something, Andrew Harper runs out and stops. Is this the official face turn? No, but it is. Um, kind of organic, so next show we'll make sure we have you know, Andrew Harper as a face. I thought I added it, but we'll just go ahead and save that for next show around to turn a baby face. And pretty good angle all in all. Following that we had Mr. Lucha 3 make another title defense of his um, caught championship and this is just a um, squash match effectively for some local guy kind of trying out a local who's a rookie you see like yeah, is there any possible uh, anything here not really good selling inconsistent and experienced uh, well, obviously he's inexperienced then we had Hawkeye Calhoun um, saying he's going to take down the Demia family um, to avenge the past year where he was getting like bullied by him effectively and get that revenge now he goes on to defeat Denny King non the Mia family member but continues that hot streak and the reason being is our main event is who Hawkeye Calhoun has yet to defeat following that we had a supermassive destroyer saying like not saying but he is the one that's gonna face mass stranger for the title tonight not Brutus Milano or Sal Mia it's going to be New Blood and Mass Stranger. I'm sorry, not Mass Stranger, Super Massive Destroyer. Which leads us to our main event of Super Massive Destroyer versus Mass Stranger. Too many weird names. Um, and Mass Stranger carries a Super Massive Destroyer, best match in his career so far, and made him look particularly strong. Um, love to see that. And we'll see what we can do from there at the end of the day. To, to, to this match is better as a result, obviously. So let's see. Now, overall, good show. I'll take it. Uh, the 40 popularity. It's more a test to see Supermassive Shorter can be made of it or not. Yeah, maybe. Right opponent. 
the original center match was all time. Now it was only like five minutes, but we will see who is the one that can take down Mass Stranger once and for all. Is it time for Sadamio to get a uh, rematch? Possibly. And let's go ahead here and shout out those who did good. Uh, excited to see what the Andrew Harper is a face and how we can change that and see how we can develop upon him as a face. Overall, decent enough show for us to, uh, it's like a leading point um, with Mass Stranger. Still a bunch of opponents left, but it's almost like a rerun of the Empire title, just he's more popular. So might have to change it up here in regards to how he's facing people, gimmicks, storylines, things like that. Because right now our storylines are a little convoluted of we have... Let's see here. We're, we're almost like l losing our storylines. Our only real storyline is Andrew Harper. Um, Mass Stranger is just defending the title. Sal Mio and the Demio family is not losing steam. I don't think that's fair, but I think the creativity in myself isn't as strong as it, wa as it was. But at this point, it's a three-man show. And it's almost like an equal head where... Maybe Brutus Milano, Supermassive Destroyer, Sodomia go their separate ways. Who comes out as a face on that end? Now, Brutus Milano turned heel last year. I think Sodomia has the 100% uh, heel quality or tribute. And Original Sinner, uh, how can we make him a face long term? We'll have to see if what we're going to do. But not as strong as our last show. Expectics are not having. You know, Sterling Whitlock, we get from Sterling Whitlock to Supermassive Destroyer, pretty big jump, but Masked Stranger really carrying him through it, and I'm still happy with him, and overall, um, and then the crazy thing about Supermassive Destroyer, I've never seen this, in one year, he went from 70 to 75 popularity without changing his muscular ability, his height, weight, nothing like that. So, just pure development, went from 70 to 75, and maybe he grows more. Um, nonetheless, we will probably cut it off there. Um, as you can tell, we only have 21 in the roster, so we have room to like sign one or bring one from alone. And when it comes to that, we will go ahead and if it is um, June and we still have 21, not 22... We'll only cut the two lows, guys. Um, which this point's probably uh, Freedom Eagle's low. I was expecting Bob Casey and maybe Freedom Eagle. Uh, Bob Casey was a short-term guy to kind of, you know, test the waters. The original center probably test the waters with some other faces that we might bring in, get a good win. So, like, let's say next week I have LA Star one and two in a tag match, uh, not in a tag match. Um, it's a bad example. So Super Massive Destroyer needs a match. Oh, Bob Casey's right there. Perfect. But let us see what we can do for our growth and development. Because I'm worried about getting stagnant at like the 40 mark. And then right now the rule is we can only sign unemployed workers for five years. Is that something we stick with? Is that something we change? Is that something that after five years that we continue that rule? Uh, we'll see. Nonetheless, I said that already. Um, yeah, good, good show. We'll hopefully see we can see more growth, and I'll start focusing on more on the storyline end, and trying not to get in that habit of just building people, which comes pretty easy in this game. Definitely gonna look at the numbers. So, like, what's our storylines here? But that's it, and uh.